Tavon decided to come back, he had some goals that he wanted to accomplish That's by awesome. coming back, and you had some goals for him, including being better in pass coverage. How do you feel that process has played out to this point? I have been really pleased um, with him, um, and it hasn't been perfect, and it will never be perfect, you know, but it is a, um, it's an evolution. I think we've added um, uh, situations for him to, to, um, to have more responsibility and coverage, and I think, um, you know, I, I hope at least that, you know, my work in all season to, to coach it better has also helped his improvement, to drill it better, you know, um, you know, I said this, you know, I think, I don't remember when I said it, but it was at the, one of the press conferences that, you know, um, you know, for a player to execute in coverage, you know, obviously he needs a skill set, but um, it's my job to enhance that skill set and not just the skill, but also the concept and understanding what he needs to do to be successful. And I, I feel like I came up short and, and truthfully, maybe I've come up short um, in my career in general that way. And so it was a chance for me, you're always looking for a chance to reset as a coach and, 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 and improve. And that was that was my charge this all season. That rover spot and run and have a great productive season. I think he's still, I think he's playing his best football right now since I've been here, which is encouraging. I think trying to cross train him in the spring was a little unfair to him. I think once we got him locked in uh, to the rover spot, he was able to build on the reps he took last season. and. Um, I've been really pleased with his his progress. So you know, I hope he can have a year that he's proud of, but also a year that that um, you know he, he's able to play effectively in the field for us. What do you think? Uh, you know, he's played behind a lot of guys over the past couple of years just because of the way the depth chart has worked out. Um, what do you think he's kind of learned over the past couple of years from his experience? Here? Well, I mean, I, he you know he. He and Drew Tranquil formed a really, really close friendship last year, and I know that relationship is is very important to both of them. In fact, you know, at Drew's wedding, there's Asmar up on the stage. You know, I mean, it's it's um, it's a bond, and I think you know, in in playing behind Drew, you know, he got to see you know a guy that's a pro and the way he approaches his work, and you know, and keeping his priorities um, aligned the right way. And I think that was. I think Asmar experienced growth in that uh, respect, you know, and I think, you know, Asmar's anxious to have his turn, and so I'm anxious for him, too. What do you think his biggest uh, area for growth is? For what, growth? Yeah. Um, you know, I would like to see Asmar, um, he has got speed and he has got power. I mean, both those things um, might be as, as good as anybody on the team. You know, what, what I would like to see uh, from him and what I feel like he's displayed uh, to a certain degree um, to this point uh, in fall camp is just letting his football instinct take over too. You know? Like don't don't be robotic out there. It's it's about executing, but it's also about um, using that strength and speed to to go make a play, you know, and to cut loose sometimes. And you know, I think Drew was really effective that way in some of those perimeter screens of the field last year, where he just swallowed up a block on the perimeter, you know. Um, like I want to see Asmar think less about do I go inside or outside and just go through. And I think